Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to test the ABS system when you have a C2402 ABS motor electrical fault cut. If you have a scan tool, you can test the ABS motor operation with a scan tool as well, just to make sure if the entire system is working or not. So I have already selected my car. I go for the diagnostic. Ignition switch is on. On the system selection, I'm gonna go for ABS. So as you see, ABS is just right here. So what I do, I go for the actuation test. And as you see, just the motor up here is for the ABS itself. So I need to click on this one, ignition on and engine off. So you press start. So as you can hear, ABS motor is operating. So if you perform the test and ABS motor operates, it means everything, including the fuse, power supply, ground, and ABS motor itself, everything are functioning properly. So in this case, your fault could be something intermittent. So you need to just check the connectors just to make sure the connector is not loose and there is no moisture or dirt inside the connector. But if you perform the test and ABS motor doesn't operate, you need to actually check all the steps, including the fuse power supply and ground step by step, because one of them is actually giving you the fault. That's why ABS motor is not functioning. All right, let's start by having a look at the wind diagram to see what could be the possible causes for this fault code. Uh, then I will show you everything on the car to do the proper troubleshooting. So this is the wind diagram exactly for this car that I'm working on. Uh, this is the diagram for ABS system. So as you see, this is the ABS control module just right here. This is my ABS control module. And if you look at the ABS module, you see there are three main power supply coming from the fuse boxes. Uh, so this is a 10 amp fuse inside the interior fuse box, which actually takes the power directly to ABS control module on the ABS unit itself on ABS board. And there are two high amp fuses here, each one of them 40 amp inside the engine room fuse box. And they take the power into the ABS module. As you see one of them, this one, this one takes the power all the way from here to this part, to this valve relay. So there is actually a power MOSFET inside the ABS module for powering all valves of ABS or ESP system. So there are some valves inside the ABS module for each wheel, as you see, inlet, outlet, again, inlet, outlet. So two valves in this case for each wheel for ABS operation. So each one of these valves, they need a power supply and they get the power supply from here. So it means if there is anything wrong for this power supply to get from here to the valves, you will have a fault code and ABS is not gonna function. The other high amp fuse from here is gonna go all the way from here, if I follow it, to another power MOSFET, which is for the ABS motor itself, as you see, motor relay. So this power supply gets to this point uh, and when ABS is working, uh, ABS control module is gonna activate this power MOSFET and power from here is gonna get to the ABS motor. And of course, it's going to need the ground as well to operate. So basically, this is how uh, ABS receives the power supply. So if this fuse is broken, uh, the entire ABS system is not going to work and you will have no communication. So if this fuse is broken, you will have the fault code for ABS motor. And if this fuse is broken, you will have the fault code for uh, ABS valve relay. But let's see what we can do exactly for this fault code. So this fault code is C2402 for ABS motor. So it means we do have some problem for ABS motor operation. So what we can do is the first thing, the easiest thing we need to check is we need to locate this fuse inside the engine fuse box to check this fuse at the very first place because this fuse is providing the power to ABS motor. So if this fuse is okay, the next step that we need to check is to get to this wire, to this pin on the ABS module and check the power supply here because we wanna make sure if the fuse is okay, this power gets exactly to 
the ABS module itself all right so i'm going to show you how to locate this one i'm going to show you how to locate this pin and how to check the power supply over here but what could be the possible cause after checking this point of course if the fuse is broken we're going to need to change the fuse if you don't have the power supply over here the problem could be from the wiring in case of having a good fuse the problem could be the wiring between the engine fuse box and abs but if you do have the power supply over here what could be the next step the next step is actually to check the ground over here because if the ground is not provided to the ABS motor, it means it's not going to work at all. So we need to check the ground over here to make sure this ground is provided. So three steps to be checked. But if the fuse is okay, the power supply over here is provided and, and the ground is okay, the next possible cause could be something inside the ABS module. It could be just pin connection to the board this power MOSFET to provide the power to the ABS motor or the board itself. So we do have two other videos on the channel for repairing the ABS module itself. And I show you everything inside the ABS module, how to, how to check this valve relay and how to check this uh, power MOSFET uh, and all other things that you need to consider for repairing the ABS module. You can find the link for those videos in description. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how to check all these points because most likely you can fix the problem by everything that I'm going to uh, explain today. So here is my engine fuse box. You're going to need to remove the fuse box cap. And inside here, you have actually a map of the fuse box. You see all the fuses over there? We have the guide over here. Uh, this is exactly for this specific car. Most of the time, the number of fuses for ABS on different cars uh, are exactly the same. So most of the time, you have these tier fuses uh, that I explained. So for this fault code, uh, C2402, uh, we are after fuse number one. So as you see, we have two fuses here. ABS number one, number two. So number one is actually for ABS motor itself. So we need to locate this one right now because this one is actually related to our fault code, which is exactly this one, this ABS fuse, number one, 40 amp. So the other one next to that is actually for the ABS valves. This one is for the ABS motor, so we are after this one. So we're gonna need to remove this ABS fuse to check it out to make sure it's not broken. All right, I'm gonna remove the fuse first. Okay. So this is our 40 amp fuse. You can check it visually, but it's better to check it with multimeter. So I'm gonna select the resistance. You can go for the continuity because at the same time, you can read the resistance and you can make sure there is no open circuit, your fuse is not broken. So I have two ends. I check the resistance and of course the continuity between each end of my fuse. As you see, I can hear the continuity sound and the resistance is something around one ohm and even less than one ohm which shows that the fuse is okay so this fuse is okay there is nothing wrong with the fuse i need to go to the next step to measure the power supply on abs module itself but i'm going to show you one example of a bad fuse for example this is another fuse this one is 30 amp but because the fuse is broken i'm going to show you how your reading is going to be if you have a broken fuse so right now as you see there is no continuity no resistance no measurement it means this fuse is broken. So if you have, if you are measuring the resistance and you get no reading, it means your fuse is broken. You have to replace it. Otherwise, uh, the fuse is okay. You put it back on. You go to the next step for checking the power supply. So here's my ABS module. I need to disconnect the connector first. Find those pins and I'm going to show you how to inspect all of them one by one. So there's a lock over here. I need to release the lock. And then pull this one up so the connector is going to come off all the way so as i explained earlier for this fault code which is for abs motor electrical i need to look for pin number one as you see on the screen for the power supply so basically based on the wind diagram this is pin number one on multimeter select the voltage i have two props so because i'm checking the voltage i'm going to put this one on pin number one of ABS connector which is the power supply for ABS motor 
and the other one on a good ground. As you see, I'm getting the battery voltage in this case. It means the battery voltage is provided. So there is nothing wrong for the wiring between the fuse box and ABS module. If you don't get any battery positive here, or if you get something less than what you are supposed to get, it means the wiring from ABS connector, from pin number one, back to that fuse uh, inside the fuse box is broken or shorted. You need to go back and check it step by step. So we already checked the positive that positive was provided the next thing we need to check is the ground and as you see on the wind diagram pin number 13 and 38 they are actually the ground provided on the ABS connector so here's the ABS connector as you see this was pin number one that we already checked for the power supply pin number 13 and 38 these two are actually the ground so we're gonna need to check the ground on these two pins as well to make sure ground is provided for the ABS motor itself and for that again we're gonna need to use the multimeter this time on multimeter select resistance you can go for the continuity because at the same time you check the continuity for the open circuit and you check the resistance as well so what we are going to do as you see on the screen we are going to check the resistance between ground pin and the body ground of course that ground is supposed to be connected to the body ground so by checking the resistance if we are getting less than one ohm and continuity is provided it means the ground is connected properly to the body and we don't need to worry about it but if you don't get the continuity or if the resistance is too high or if you get no reading it means the resistance is not provided so in this case two props one of them on pin number 13 and the other one on the body ground. We do the same thing for pin number 38 because there are two grounds. So I'm gonna go for finding pin number 13, which based on the connector is located up here, and the other one on the good ground. As you see, I have the continuity and resistance value is less than one ohm. It means the ground is provided and there is nothing wrong with that. For the other ground, it's exactly the pin next to 13. The other one is 38. I put the multimeter over there, a black one on the good ground. Again, as you see, continuity is provided and resistance is within the range less than one ohm. There is nothing wrong with this one as well. So we already checked the fuse. We already checked the power supply for ABS motor on ABS module, and we checked the ground. So in any steps, when you are checking any of these ones, if you find a problem, of course you get it fixed. But if you don't find anything, if there's nothing wrong, the problem could be internally inside the ABS module. So that's why we have two other videos that you can find in the description for inspecting and repairing everything inside the ABS module. And I explain everything exactly for this fault code. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check the channel page for more diagnostic videos.